Dear Mrs. Busemare, Tonight I will be the chef. I have chosen to make delicious Italian meatballs in tomato sauce with mashed potatoes. The ingredients are following. For the meatballs we will need two finely chopped onions, two eggs, breadcrumbs, dried oregano, dried rosemary, salt and pepper and also olive oil. The sauce exists of 20 centiliters of fresh tomato juice, 50 centiliters of canned tomato juice, a small can of tomato concentrate, again two finely chopped onions, um, around 6 carrots from our vegetable garden, 3 chopped cloves of garlic, 2 peppers, um, a red one and a yellow one, 1 fresh courgette and a salt and pepper to give it more taste and spice it up. For the mashed potatoes we will need a half kilogram of washed potatoes, 50 grams of butter, one fourth of a cup of milk and also a little bit of salt. Let's start with the potatoes. We must first peel them, which is quite easily done with a peeler. It could be that there is still some dirt on it, so do not forget to wash your potatoes. After washing them, we cut them into pieces. This way, they heat up faster because of the larger surface area. The reason we start with the potatoes is that the longer you cook them, the softer they are and therefore easier to mash. A tip is to add a pinch of salt to the water so your puree has more flavor. In the meanwhile, we can already chop our vegetables. We start chopping our onions. Make sure they are finely chopped. We do not want large chunks of onions in our meatballs and sauce. Next, we cut a courgette into small pieces. First, um, cut the courgette broadly in half. Do that again and cut, cut it into small strips. After that, we cut the peppers. Make sure you have a yellow or red one, not a green one. The accent should not be on the sauce. Green is too intense. The most annoying part is removing all the seeds. A trick I have learned from my sister is to cut the top off first, but leave the middle intact. Then we pull it off the top and we cut the peppers into four quarters. We, wi we wipe away the remaining seeds and cut the sweet pepper into small bits. The next thing is to peel the carrots. Make sure you do not peel them too much. The juice is on the outside and the inside is rather hard. A special ingredient we use is the love of our cat. His name is Bramble and he constantly begs for food. Then cut the carrot into small discs. When all the vegetables are cut, you can start making the sauce. First, put a dash of olive oil in the cooking pan. This gives an extra flavor and also prevents the vegetables from burning. Next, we throw the onions, carrots, peppers and courgette into the pot. Add a can of tomato puree and stir well. Then add tomato juice and keep stirring until everything is covered with sauce. Now leave this on the fire at a moderate temperature. After finishing the sauce, drain the water from the potatoes. Put the potatoes back on the fire and mash them well. The more you mash them, the softer they will be. According to our family recipe, we also add a little bit of milk. Unfortunately, my sister is allergic to it, so we use lactose-free almond milk. If necessary, add some salt and mix well. Now we make the meatballs. First add the onions and the eggs. Then add the breadcrumbs, oregano and rosemary. If you want to emphasize the balls, add pepper and salt as well. Then gently knead the balls, but make sure everything is mixed properly. Roll the balls, put them on a plate if necessary 
and put a drizzle of uh, a drizzle of olive oil in the pan and start cooking. Make sure the meatballs are nicely browned. Put everything in a bowl and serve. You can add fried onions as the icing on the cake as well. Thank you much for being here with me and enjoy your meal. Mm. Also our special client Thank <laughs> you. 